Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created this faux stone bowl using products that I found at the Dollar Tree. I really think that you guys are gonna love this one. I definitely do. It has such a wow factor when you see it, especially in person. And I was just so pleased with the way that it turned out. So I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I created it and which products I used. But before we get started, if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing down below and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. For this DIY, you're going to need to pick up two items from the Dollar Tree and the first is this garden dish. This can be found in their floral department. It's made of plastic, but it has a really nice size to it. And the second thing that you're going to need is this glass candle holder, which can be located in their candle department. I'm really loving this candle holder and I have more DIYs coming up with these very soon, so stay tuned for those. And we will be connecting the two of these just like this afterward. So if you want to go ahead and connect those now, you can, but I'm going to wait till after I paint. And to paint them today, this is the star of the show. I'm going to be using this gorgeous spray paint from Rust-Oleum. So it's part of their multicolored texture line and it has such a nice shade to it. This one in particular is called Desert Bisque and it has not only a faux stone look, but a texture as well. So you can kind of feel it on the cap. I picked this one up from Amazon, but you can definitely find this at Walmart as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and be spray painting the sides here. And then I will be painting the top and bottom of the bowl. Before you paint everything, you're just gonna wanna make sure to prep all of your surfaces. So of course you wanna remove all those stickers. The sticker on this one came off very easily, so I was really happy for that. But you also want to make sure just to rub down all the surfaces so that paint can adhere to it quite easily. So for this, I just use some rubbing alcohol, but even just some warm water and some soap would work just fine. And here is how everything turned out after I had spray painted it. And I must say, this really does look like stone and it has such an awesome texture to it. The only note I do want to let you guys know is that if I could do this over again, I would go ahead and paint everything first with a white primer coat. So I would have just given it a really quick one coat of just some white spray paint or a white primer just to make sure that the stone spray paint was able to adhere a little bit easier. So it did adhere just fine and it looks good, but I will say that it can be a little bit see-through in some areas since this was a clear surface to start off with, but giving it one coat of white definitely would help out with that. And I think that it would help it adhere a little bit better. So I, this ended up being just fine, but I did have to work very slowly and I had to build up that look with multiple layers and just multiple dry times. So if you have that base layer, I think this will cling to it a lot better. But overall, I am thrilled with the way it turned out. It just has such a beautiful color and texture to it. So now we just have to attach the base and you'll see here in the plastic bowl, it kind of had a little circle. So that's exactly where I'm going to be aiming for. And I'm going to be using these Gorilla Glue Sticks to attach it today. You do not need these. These cannot be found at the Dollar Tree. I got them off of Amazon. I will leave those linked down below. And regular hot glue will of course work for this. But I do love these Gorilla Glue Sticks. They have a really super strong hold. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I just put a generous amount on our base piece here, and then I'm just gonna press it and hold it into the center of the bowl and just apply a little bit of pressure. And you just wanna give this a couple minutes to dry and you'll be good to go. You could also use some E6000 to attach these two products together and I think that would work really well and I do love using that but I figured this is more for decorative use so some hot glue would be just fine to hold these two together. And here is our finished product. What did I tell you guys? Really simple but has that wow factor. I'm just so happy with the way this DIY turned out. I was looking for something very similar to this but Everything I was finding was quite pricey, so I'm so happy I was able to create it for just a few dollars. And I wanted to mention, if you guys like these wood beads right here, 
I have a video coming up for this one next. So make sure you stay tuned. That will be released in a couple of days. So make sure that you are subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on and you will not miss out on that new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture here. And if you're interested in another video, make sure to check this one out.